Hi, my name's Terry Bergen. Welcome to The Entertainers. This is the South End Sessions, and today I'm talking with keynote speaker Peter Baines. Good day, Peter. Good day, Terry. Good to see you again. Likewise. I know we caught up in our earlier uh, series, which was uh, real time, but we um, we're back to talk today about uh, something uh, that you've just recently released, uh, which is a book called Doing Good by Doing Good. Yep, which is a fantastic read. and. Uh, it is available at all good bookshops, is that correct, mate? Absolutely, even some of the bad bookshops have it yeah, as well. Absolutely, but it's a cracking read and there's something in there for everyone at all levels. Let's kick it off by asking uh, you to tell us a little bit about yourself and then we'll get into the book. Yeah, sure. So I spent uh, 20 years working with the police and worked internationally with uh, Interpol in Lyon on counter-terrorism deployed uh, internationally into various scenes of crisis and disaster across the globe. So I worked in uh, Japan, Saudi Arabia, Bali after the bombings, Thailand and, uh, and, and I, I guess the question is well how did you end up with writing a book around corporate social responsibility and engagement? Well uh, I formed a charity after I met some kids who had all lost their parents and, and did something different with the charity and uh, rather than focus on just raising donations we focused on the people who support us and it became a, a pretty unique model and it uh, saw us uh, take on uh, or build seven new homes in time. We support several hundred children and raise over 12 million Australian dollars and it's, it's been really successful and, uh, and on the back of that I built these, um, this consulting work for organisations who want to engage with charity but want the business benefit and that's certainly what the book's about is helping people build engagement and, and get the returns from their CSR program because too many programs uh, are just like a tax yeah. and we yeah. all pay enough tax and I don't know that we get the benefit we should so I say rather than this be a tax let's do things differently and uh, so that's what I do now support organisations uh, building programs that bring a positive return back to them well, I yeah. read with interest in the book uh, with regards to how a CFO, for example, may view a particular charity when there's a downturn in the industry. Can you maybe give us a, a few of the metrics in the book? Yeah, sure. So if the, if the CSR program or is, and a lot of them, too many of them, are just about carving off a portion of the net profit and giving that away to one or a number of charities and some organisations will let their staff go and volunteer and I go, but where's the return back to the business? And people will say, but we don't do it for a return. And I say, but here's the thing. If we flip that and say it is a positive return back to you as a business, well, there'll be more to give away. The pie grows. So it's actually in the interests of the charities uh, and the community groups that you're supporting for it to be a profit centre to you. Because at the end of the day, when, when the, the organisation might be struggling, they might be a downturn in the economy or so forth, and the CFO is tasked with looking at where there's some excess fat, I promise you the first thing to go will be their commitment to charity followed by their, their budget for leadership and development. So what we want to say is that if we can turn the, the commitment to organisations, to charity, to community groups into a profit centre to the business, well then there's reason to invest in it, there's reason for it to grow and it will be a profit, profit centre back to the business. When we look at the, the benefits from a CSR program that's effective, it's around staff engagement. It's around staff retention. It's about being more attractive as an employer. It's about uh, new, new business opportunities, new customers. It's about improving your brand image. So there's all these very clear measures um, and there's huge benefits that come back and, and too many don't involve their staff. Yeah. And when we go from, I look in the book at this, uh, a continuum that, that, that is present. One from an organisation that has nothing right through to an organisation that truly embraces shared value that continues right throughout the supply chain. So where the, where the products are coming from, and we look at this in the fashion industry and say, it's okay to sell something here, but what's the, the wages that are paid to someone in Bangladesh who are producing it? And customers now can scan on an app on their phone and see where the raw materials come from, see yeah. where the, the people have been employed, and that's shared value. And it's, as I say, it's further down the continuum, but in the book we look at uh, those that are entering the market, how we, how we leverage the shared experiences for engagement. 
and that's a massive part of what it's about. Yeah, fantastic. So let's look at the services around doing good by doing good. Um, so what are the advantages of, uh, say, for example, uh, a client coming to us and say, look, we'd like to learn more about CSL. How, how can Peter, P- Peter Baines help us to do that? Yeah, so there's a number of things. There's, there's one is it's probably more to the point around engaging, uh, engagement with staff. So as an organisation is saying, we want to do something different, we want to build a stronger morale within the group, we want a stronger workforce, we want this unity, and, and say, so, well, for so many people, the opportunity is already there, but they haven't thought about this, they haven't tapped into that space. So we look at the engagement strategy. So we, you know, and that can be anything from a keynote around engagement, around um, this turning it into a profit centre, right through to a, a, a longer um, consulting program where I'll go into organisations and we'll do a diagnostic on what they currently do, what they'd like to do, then we build them a program. And yeah. it's not around the favourite charity, it's the ones that we attach KPIs to the relationship and it's about building a relationship between the two so that each each party and it benefits. And so that's, you know, from one, the, the, the keynote right through to the... Um, extended consulting. So if if you were to bullet point the advantages of having a really good look at a CSR program, what would those advantages be? Uh, I think that the the first thing is that there's the engagement opportunity for your staff. So too too many organisations will, the the chosen charity will either be a a hugely popular one and then the the, uh, opportunity to get a return to make a difference, it's hard to measure or that it's the favourite charity of the CEO's husband or, or, or so forth. But what, what we say is involve the entire organisation in the decision making process and then look at opportunities for them to be actively engaged in it. So the biggest thing I see is that when we start out, it's engagement. I know we have a special offer for uh, people who watch this video and who make an inquiry for a booking for either a consultation or a keynote and that is that you will actually uh, send a book to them? Absolutely. If yeah. they have a genuine offer or a genuine inquiry for, for an event? Sure. And uh, they, you can do that through the entertainers. Um, if Peter is uh, someone of interest, some, a speaker or a consultant that you'd like to get in, jump onto the website and we'll put you in direct contact with Peter and you can make the decision yourself as whether he's uh, suitable for your next event. So this has been Terry Bergen for the South End Sessions. And Mr. Peter Baines, thank you very much, Peter. Thanks, Terry. Great to see you as always. You too, mate. We'll see you later.